Good morning, Australasia. It, it is always a pleasure for me to have the opportunity to speak with all my friends in Australasia, and uh, we are going to do a few things this morning. Um, we are first, uh, I'll have some opening remarks, a little bit of housekeeping we have to take care of, uh, and then we're going to talk about body composition improvement and why this is a key difference in the Manitech approach versus everyone else's approach on planet Earth of all the other thousands of companies. And of course, we're going to talk individually about each of the three products in the True Health system and uh, features and benefits. And, and I'll do a little FAQ bit uh, on each one too, because obviously the products have been out for a little bit now. And uh, there are certain questions that I get on a very regular basis. And uh, because I keep getting the questions, then obviously they need more explanation. So we'll take care of that. So a little uh, a bit of opening remark here. Some of you know that I have uh, I had previously conducted a five-year study on body composition improvement, and uh, that got published and went out. and And I have now recently uh, completed another study, and I know that the rumors are already traveling out there. So I need everyone to understand this. I I elected to do the study in the most comprehensive scientific manner I could, which means it has terminology in it that is not approved for marketing purposes. And what that means, bottom line for all of you, is that no, you may not use that study uh, for marketing our products. And I'm, and I'm sorry about that. But the reason I made the decision to do that is because um, I am the creator of the Body Composition Change Index. And I wanted my first couple of studies to be what we refer to as seminal studies or uh, studies that sow the seed for future science in that area. And the only way I could do that was to make sure that I was really hardcore about it and that I didn't use ambiguous terminology that is marketing friendly and regulatory friendly, but I talked scientist to scientist. So the, the papers are out and, and and you can't use them. So don't please don't send me emails saying, what's the link to that paper? Because you can't use them, okay? Just to know that the science is being done. And, and that, uh, again, my second study simply supported the first one, that the body mass index is useless. BMI is useless. It's pointless. And yet, almost every doctor on planet Earth is still using BMI to tell their patients if they're healthy or not. And I have proven it conclusively that it is completely inaccurate and should never be used for any reason. It's just pointless. And I, and I worry about all of the people who are being charged additional life insurance rates, as an example, because of BMI. And then now, I'm not sure how it is in, uh, in our three countries in Australasia, but there are many countries of the world now where they're using BMI uh, to to judge people uh, on whether or not they'd be, be good employees. Uh, and gosh, this is terrible that, that people would do that. So BMI is pointless. I've proven it. And, and that's the end of that story. Okay. <laughs> so that's all we'll do. Now, the next thing, a little bit of housekeeping here. Um, and the only reason I'm going to do this, so I'm going to break a little protocol here, but I think it's necessary for me to do it. Uh, I keep getting questions on this because some people, if you don't say the exact word to them, they just, for whatever reason, don't comprehend it. So, a word that you may not use in marketing the True Health System, or any Manitech product for that matter, the word is obesity, the O word. You can't use it because it was classified a few years ago as a disease word. And of course, it is not permitted for Manitech Associates to use any disease word in marketing. Now, why did I break protocol to tell you that? Because I've tried not to say it. And when I don't say it, I get a whole bunch of questions afterwards because people don't seem to get it. So here's what you can say. Obviously, some people are overweight. Uh, it would be more accurate to say over fat, okay? And we'll explain that in a moment. And there are some people who are grossly overweight or grossly over fat. 
How's that? So no use of the O word, okay? This study that I just published had the O word in it 26 times. Obviously, you can't use that. So uh, now that we've gotten that out of the way, now let's talk about body composition before we get into the products. This is really important, folks, because if you look at the literally thousands of products globally that are sold for so-called weight loss, and now a small percentage where, where they do correctly use the words fat loss versus weight loss, but that's a very small percentage because people are used to saying weight loss. People are used to standing on the scale. People get excited about saying they've lost X number of kilograms, okay? But that is not an accurate measure of your progress. It simply is not. Now, folks, I want you to understand that muscle is approximately 20% more dense than fat. What does this mean? It means then that for every centimeter of muscle, it weighs a great deal more than each centimeter of fat. So if you're trying to determine your progress on a so-called weight loss system or a fat loss system, if you're trying to determine your progress and you're doing so only by standing on the scale, you are almost certainly going to be wrong. In fact, my statistics showed in my last study, 99.7% of the time you will be wrong. Now, that's significant, right? So you know that this is something that you don't want to use as a gauge of your progress. It just doesn't make sense. Now, I know your doctor is going to keep doing it because your doctor doesn't know the difference yet, which is why it was important, in my opinion, for my last study to be serious science and not pull any words or have any omissions in it, okay? Because I want the world to get over to the right way to look at it. Now, there's one company that I know of on planet Earth that's doing this the right way. That company is Manatech. We are focused on body composition improvement. So that's two steps better than weight loss, and it's another step better than just fat loss. Because what we want to do, our goal is not for you to weigh less. Our goal is for your health to improve through improvement of the mass of your body. We want most of your mass to be muscle, a very small amount of your mass to be fat, and I don't want anyone to be zero fat. That is not healthy. Fat is actually required. Now, not the amount of fat that most people have, but it is required. So I don't want anyone to be zero fat. I don't want anyone to eat zero fat. I hope that's understood. But what I want you to have is the majority of your mass being muscle mass. Then I want you to have good strong, healthy bones. That's called bone mass, okay? And a very small percentage of you as fat mass. But you do actually need a small amount of fat, which insulates some of your organs. That's normal, that's good, that's healthy, you want that. And for instance, if you have zero fat in your face, as an example, you will show lines and wrinkles so fast that it will shock you. In fact, a lot of people who do the zero fat thing successfully for a period of time, and then it backfires on them, it always backfires on them. What it, what it shows is that, yes, they got a lot thinner, but boy, they look a whole lot older, a whole lot faster. And they can't figure out why. Well, that's why. Because you actually need a little bit of fat in the tissue in your face. Not a lot, just a little bit, okay? So then, what we want to do is we want to focus your diet and your use of dietary supplements so that it favors muscle and it favors the conversion of stored body fat into energy. Now, that's the correct way to say it. I know worldwide, everybody says burn fat. But, but I want you to think about how uncomfortable that would be if your fat suddenly caught on fire, all right? So you don't, you don't, you don't actually burn fat. You convert stored fat into energy. That's what you do. Now, why do we have body fat at all? Besides that little bit of fat to insulate organs and all that, why do we have the rest of that stored body fat? 
We have it to store caloric energy in case there's no food available. Well, since food is so available, why do we have that? It's an ancient, ancient survival mechanism, folks. So for the majority of the history of the human race, or I guess we might say prehistory of the human race, our ancestors were hunter-gatherers. And if you do any study of hunter-gatherers, which is what I focused on in my degree program in biological anthropology, you, you see that hunter-gatherers very often come up short when they're trying to find food. In fact, very often they spend up to 18 hours a day trying to find food. And some days they don't find any. So we have this ancient mechanism that allows us to take carbohydrate food, listen carefully, not fat food, carbohydrate food, our liver converts it into stored body fat and it converts it into blood fat. So why have so many people failed on low fat diets? Well, it's simple. Most low fat food is high glycemic food. High glycemic is a simple, simply a fancy way of saying raises your blood sugar. Now, if you raise your blood sugar high and fast and you trigger an insulin response, your liver is designed to take that high glycemic food that just caused that high glycemic response and turn it into stored body fat and blood fat. Cholesterol is more than 70% triglyceride, which is made by your liver from the high glycemic foods. Think about it. So then I, I see these folks who are, and I see it all the time when I'm flying on the plane, you know, when they're, they're serving the meal and a person next to me has got a lot of excess body fat. Maybe they are grossly over fat. And, uh, and then what do they do? Well, they're eating lots of bread. They order the pasta meal. They don't want to order the meal with meat because their doctor said meat's bad for you. So they order the pasta meal and, and then they have a Diet Coke. All right, so what happens here is that the food that they've just eaten that may be low in fat or even zero fat has turned to fat on their body and in their blood because that's an ancient mechanism for survival of our species. And the Diet Coke is not going to help, folks. It's not, that's not, that's not going to do the trick for you. So with this in mind, people have been doing the wrong thing for a long time. And the evidence of that can be visually seen. You don't have to scan everybody with a DEXA scan machine. You can see it with your eyes all over planet Earth. In fact, as I published in my latest paper, the center of the tremendous surge in the growth of excess body fat globally, it looks like the epicenter is going to actually move to China. Can you believe that? And, you know, normally you think of Chinese as being naturally thin people. Well, they do have genetic components that are very favorable in that area. However, make no mistake, right now there are 78 million, at least 78 million Chinese in mainland China who are now grossly over fat. So, and this number is growing, pardon the pun. But this number is growing. In fact, the trend worldwide, it looks like, the statistical trend looks like over the next 30 years, this is going to become even worse. And right now, for all of you who would say, well, I don't care about this, all this weight loss stuff. I just care about helping people with their health. Well, folks, get a grip. I want you to listen carefully. The most single most important thing you can do to help somebody with their health is get that excess body fat off of their body right now. Why? Because there are more than 40 physical and psychological health problems that are directly related to excess body fat. The only thing that relates to more physical health problems than excess body fat is oxidative stress. It's the only thing. And of course, we, as far as I'm concerned, have the best antioxidant product on planet Earth. That'll be the subject of a different call. So right now, what I want you to focus on is that by helping people get excess body fat off of their body, 
you are doing them and in but not just an important favor, an amazingly critically important favor for their health. Now, I could run down the list, but we'd run out of time of all the health issues that directly relate to excess body fat. The number one problem, health problem, on planet Earth, according to the World Health Organization, the number one problem is People who are grossly overfat. That's the number one problem. The number two problem, according to the World Health Organization, is blood sugar abnormalities. And guess what? The blood sugar abnormalities are directly related to people having too much body fat. So we go back to square one. What you're doing is about health, big time about health. So it's not just cosmetic. It's not just looking good or even feeling good. It's actually being healthier. Now, the studies are solid on this, folks. As your muscle mass goes up and your fat mass goes down, you get healthier. You can't help it. It's going to happen. So, yeah, you look better. You feel better. Every, you, you're more active. Everybody loves you more. There are psychological studies that actually, and, and I know that this is wrong and it's unfair, but psychological studies that prove that employers judge employees based on their appearances. And in fact, people who are thinner and healthier looking actually get hired for jobs more frequently than people who are not. That's a fact. It's wrong, but it's a fact. Okay? So people love you more. And that's, that's just the way it is. So you want to be healthy, you want to feel good, you want to look good, you want to be loved more, then you need to be on the true health system and begin to change your body composition. That's what you want to do. So let's talk first about food, and then we're going to move into the three products. High glycemic food versus low glycemic food. Now, once again, high glycemic simply means that you raise, that's a food that raises your blood sugar suddenly and above normal and triggers an insulin response. When the insulin response is triggered, you have a mechanism in your body. We all have it. It's an ancient survival mechanism. And that mechanism says, oops, my, my insulin's been triggered. Now I have to take all or most of what I just ate and turn it into body fat and blood fat. Because who knows, I may not find food tomorrow. So that's the ancient mechanism. It's how that works. Okay. Now, a low glycemic food, then, is a food that doesn't do that. Foods that are mostly recommended on low-fat diets are almost always high glycemic, which is why people have been doing so poorly on low-fat for more than half a century. I mean, the whole world thinks that low fat's what you're supposed to do. And what do we have in the world? What we have is now our most serious problem on planet Earth is excess body fat. Is it working? No, it's not working. But we still have doctors who don't know this information. And we still have regulators in various countries who don't know this information. Even though there have been more than 30 studies that I'm aware of, uh, not just my studies, at least 30 others that are showing us that low fat dieting is nearly always not good, but low glycemic is good. In fact, I cannot conceive of a single situation where low glycemic eating would be bad. I can't think of one. And maybe there is one, but I, I can't think of one at this moment. So then, if you eat foods which are natural to humans, natural to human hunter-gatherers, so this means foods that are not processed. This means foods that are not refined. Okay? So, vegetables, fruit in moderation, my friends. Moderation, because fruit, we enjoy fruit because it's sweet. It's sweet because it contains a sugar called fructose. And a little bit of fructose is a safe, healthy, natural way to sweeten things. A lot of fructose 
will eventually cause a high glycemic response and you defeat your purpose. In fact, in the True Health Shakes, we've used fructose from fruit, and you'll see on there the raspberry and the blueberry and the strawberry and, and all that sort of thing, okay? But you need to have fructose in moderation or you will spike your sugar. So a little bit of fruit, a lot of vegetables, lots and lots and lots of vegetables, okay? And you want to have animal proteins. And for those of you who are vegans or vegetarians, God bless you. I love you. And I'm not going to argue with you, okay? I'm just not going to do it. The human diet is omnivorous. Uh, omnivorous is from the Latin, omni, meaning all-inclusive, vore, meaning to eat. So to eat all. You should have a little bit of animal protein. Now, where do, where do most people in the modern world go wrong? They don't know what a little bit is. Uh, Texas is a great example. In fact, it took me a couple of years after I moved to Texas to get through the sort of culture shock because I'm from Michigan and it's a completely different culture. Uh, you know, it's a couple of thousand miles uh, apart in distance, but the culture is very, very different. And I was taken to uh, a steakhouse which serves what claims to be, and I believe it probably is, the world's largest steak. Well, the steak is 72 ounces. I'm not sure exactly what that is in grams. We'd have to do some quick math on that, but it's probably somewhere around a kilo, I would, accept, I would say. Uh, and uh, that's one big steak. Well, Texans love their beef. Boy, they do. And if every Texan ate their beef but kept low glycemic, in other words, didn't eat high glycemic foods along with their steak, well, there w we wouldn't be seeing problems with cardiovascular health. We wouldn't be seeing excess body fat. But because they all want to eat their muffins and their rolls and their cornbread and all that other nonsense along with their steak, well, then they're guaranteed to have health problems, okay? Because those things are high glycemic. So basically, if it comes from an animal, so uh, land animals, birds, sea animals, if it comes from an animal, it's going to be low glycemic. Okay, that's easy. In fact, all meat is zero on the glycemic index. Zero. Now again, don't get yourself confused with all that half a century of nonsense about low fat, okay? This is not about fat. This is about the glycemic index. It's two different concepts, all right? Now, I'm not encouraging any of you to eat gobs of fat. That's foolish because fat is the most calorie dense of the three food categories. So your three major food categories are fat, protein, and carbohydrate. Now, your most dense uh, calorically is going to be fat. There's no question about it. And the, the people who do succeed on low-fat diets for a time, what their benefit is, is that they've reduced their calories by reducing their fat. So a low-fat diet is actually a low-calorie diet, except the foods you're focused on very often are high glycemic, and that, of course, is going to backfire on you. So uh, vegetables, low glycemic. Most fruits are going to be low glycemic, but again, up to a point. So you don't sit down and eat uh, 10 peaches. A, a peach is only 13 on the index, and that's incredibly low. So the glycemic index goes from 0 to 100. That's the blood index, and that's the only index that scientists will use, the blood index. Okay. When you're at 54, that's your, that's your breaking point. So if you're, if you're below 54, you're low glycemic. If you're above, you go into the moderate range. And then when you get into the 70s above, you're in the high range, okay? So if you eat a nice, sweet, juicy, delicious peach, uh, you're good. If you eat several of them, you may not be good. Now, this is not about calories. However, by choosing low glycemic foods, you usually are restricting your calories even without knowing that you're doing it simply because you're choosing those foods that are healthier for you. Okay. Now there are grain products 
which are low glycemic. But I caution you again, too much will cause you to have a high glycemic response. Now, how do you know if a grain, and I'm saying grain, I'm not saying green, but grain, okay, like wheat and barley and oats and all that, so grain, okay, there are grain products that are low glycemic, but be cautious, because even the ones that are low glycemic, after a certain amount of them, you will still spike your insulin, and you're back in the same boat again, okay? So be careful. Now, how do you know if a uh, grain product is low glycemic? The more fibrous it is, the lower the index will be. You can count on that. Now, I'm not sure if I'll use the correct word for Australasia or not, because we do have some foods we call by different names in our various countries. So, um, Sinead, you can co correct me if I'm wrong on this. In, in the U.S., we incorrectly refer to a sweet potato as a yam. It's not a yam. Okay, it's a potato. All right. Uh, do you call them sweet potatoes in uh, Australasia? We have sweet potatoes. For, a yam is a different thing to us. Yes, of course. Yeah. And that's the way it is here as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. Except most Americans don't know they're different. <laughs> they misuse the words. All right. So a sweet potato... If you think of this in your mind for a moment, you have a, uh, a white potato and a sweet potato. You put them side by side, take a knife. Now you're doing this in your mind, okay? You take a knife and you cut the sweet potato and you cut the white potato in half and you look inside. What do you have? The white potato is just one big lump of starch. The sweet potato has strands of fiber. Now, because the sweet potato has strands of fiber, even though it's sweet and it's sweeter than a white potato, the strands of fiber reduce the index. You reduce the index by slowing the rate at which your food is digested and converted. That's the way it works. It's really simple. So the strands of fiber in the sweet potato make it 54. It's just there at the edge. If it was 55, it would break the index, but it's 54. Okay. Now, white potato, unfortunately, violates the index. Now, I would say white potatoes are probably one of the most popular foods on planet Earth. And, and I've had people who are addicted to them who will say things like, oh, but it's a staple food. Yep, it's a staple food if you want to be fat. No question about it. Now, can you have a little bit now and then? Of course you can. There are ways where you can modify what you're doing because your, your bottom line on the day is not the index of each individual food, but the total index of what you've eaten. Because that's what's going to determine whether or not you've driven your blood sugar too high and caused an insulin response. Okay? So that total index, in other words, the total of each of those foods in your meal is now called the glycemic load. Okay, so the glycemic index helps you determine the glycemic load. But it's the total load in a particular meal at any given time that you sit down to eat, even if it's a snack uh, versus uh, a whole meal. It's still about the load created by that on your pancreas, so the insulin response, etc. Now, we don't have time in, in a one hour call to run down the list of all the foods. But I have provided for all of our offices uh, hot links to the International Glycemic Index tables, which show you the food, the serving size, the calorie amount, the glycemic index, and the glycemic load. Very close to 3,000 foods. Folks, if you can't plan your meals choosing from 3,000 foods, you need a lot more ambertose for brain function because, <laughs> I mean, that's a lot to choose from. You shouldn't have any issues there at all, okay? Uh, it's, they're free downloads, and, you, and they, they download as tables. And then you just take a look at that, and you choose what you want to choose from that, folks. But be careful about your overall load because too much of a good thing, well, it's bad, Okay. Right, I think we've probably, hopefully, done enough on that. Again, it's not about the calories. It's not about the fat. It's about the index. 
So hopefully everybody understands that, I hope. All right, let's talk a little bit uh, now about the products. Now, truly, beyond any question, the most important of the three products in the True Health system is True Plenish. There's no question about that. And when I was down in Australia for the launch of True Plenish, uh, I told everybody then, and uh, and that is still still true, no changes, that True Plenish alone, along with diet modification, everyone, virtually everyone, can be successful. Now, the other two products really help to give you better results and quicker. But the True Plenish Shake is your foundation. That's your most important thing. That is your truly, truly functional product. So if, for whatever reason, somebody says, well, I don't think I can use True Shape or True Pure, that's fine you're still going to succeed because those other two products, again, they make it a little easier, a little faster, and they give you some other benefits as well, but you will succeed with True Health. Now, the True Health True Plenish Shake, that is a tremendous healthy meal. It is a tremendous food source. Now, there are a lot of shake products out there, uh, and most of them are pretty junky because, you know, the majority of people think, first of all, what they want to do is lose weight. They don't understand body composition. They don't know that they need a certain amount of protein to, be, to build muscle mass. They don't know that. So we, part of what we're doing at Manatech is educating people about the importance of increasing your muscle mass. Now, it's very, very, and I don't mean becoming Mr. or Ms. Universe. I mean, that's not what I'm talking about. I don't mean being bodybuilders, all right? I'm just talking about being more muscle, less fat. Now, as you age, and, and what you're going to find, and I don't care what anybody says about, okay, well, our goal is to have, uh, you know, all the young people on the planet join Manatech. You know, that would be wonderful, but it's not going to happen because young people think they're invincible, okay? And we sell health products. So with this in mind, yeah, we'll get some young people who are health conscious, but most of our customers, because most of the customers in nutrition globally are over the age of 40. In fact, the vast majority are over the age of 50. As you age, you begin to lose muscle mass. It is normal, it is natural. It's not a disease process. It is normal, natural. It's part of aging. Men are going to lose muscle mass faster than women. But then men start with more muscle mass than women to begin with. So you can say, well, it's about equal. It's really still not equal. And as men lose muscle mass, it will affect their health more quickly than it does women. Eventually, women suffer in the same fashion. It just takes a little bit longer. Now, I'm not going to name the process by it because then that would be a violation of our rules. So I'm just saying that the loss of muscle mass with age is a normal, natural process. It's happening. Trust me, it's happening. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what you think you're doing. It's going to happen. So you have to try and counter that as you age, and you do that by, with protein intake and physical activity. You have to have two things to build muscles, folks. You have to have protein, and you have to have physical activity. If your muscles, if you, if you have resistance of any kind against your muscles, a signal, a chemical signal goes from your muscles to your brain that says, send me more protein now. If you don't do that, the muscles don't build magically. Okay, I mean, they, that's the way it has to be. And the older you get, the more true this is, the more activity is necessary. Now, again, not to become a bodybuilder, that's not what I'm talking about, but rather simply to have healthy body composition. So with this in mind, one of our key parts of the true plenish shake is 20 grams of protein per serving. Now, we do... At Manatech, we are trying, and I'm not going to say, and I don't want you to say, please 
because uh, there, there's always somebody on these calls who's an absolutist. They don't hear what I've said, and they go out and repeat something that I didn't say. So listen carefully. Manatech's goal is to try wherever possible. It's not a guarantee we're going to do it in every single product, every single time, because sometimes you can't do it, okay, for a variety of reasons. But our goal is to try as much as we can in as many of our products as we can to be vegan friendly. Obviously, that's vegetarian friendly as well. That's our goal. And so in this product, we have both pea protein and brown rice protein, two different types of vegetable protein. So there's no animal protein, but it's 20 grams of protein. If you look at bodybuilding shakes, they start at 20 grams. Some of them go up over even 30 grams uh, per serving, but it's going to be real junk. You can be sure of that all the time. Uh, and so we've got that as a beginning. Now these shakes are, uh, they've got a, a, I call it the no list. So what don't they have in them? Well, they're gluten-free. That's pretty cool. They're soy free because once again, it's not that Manatech is giving you an absolute irrefutable guarantee that we will never, ever, ever use soy in a product. We will not guarantee that because there are times, I know we've got a big anti-soy lobby in Australasia, but there are times when soy needs to be used. Still, we are trying to avoid using it wherever possible. If we can use something else that is equally effective for our purpose, then we replace the soy. So this is soy free, it's dairy free, it has no MSG, that's extremely important. So it's got a big long no list. We also have a new rule, okay? And it's only making new regulatory rules. But you know what, we always get through it anyway. So one of our new rules that we used to always say uh, contains no artificial sweeteners, uh, flavors, or colors. Well, the new rules won't allow us to say that anymore. So, and, and here's their logic. Even if you're using a natural sweetener, a natural flavor, and a natural coloring, you're adding it to, therefore, since you're adding it to, it's no longer in its original state, so you can't say, that we've, uh, we've uh, added no artificial this or that, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. It's crazy, it's a crazy rule, but it's the new rule, okay? So you will see now the verbiage is contains natural color, natural flavor, natural sweetener versus the way it used to be said. It still means the same thing, I mean, Realistically, it does, but we have to obey the rules, okay? So that's why the verbiage has changed. And in some markets uh, in Australasia, uh, your literature says free of or free from artificial colors, uh, you know, free from artificial flavors and so on, okay? Now, the fact is Manatech uses natural flavors from those natural sources that you might imagine, you know, if, if, we, if we have something that is citrus flavored, well, guess what? We used citrus for the flavoring. So the idea is no chemicals, uh, nothing which is not natural, okay? So everyone should be happy about that. In addition, this product, besides tasting great and being super nutritious and giving that 20 grams of protein, if you understand the sources of glyconutrients that are in Ambrotose and you look at the list on your product, what you'll see is things like gum acacia, arabinogalactin, gum tragacanth, um, aloe interleaf gel powder. You're looking at the ingredient sources for Ambrotose. Okay, that's pretty cool as well. Now, I don't recommend this be a replacement for your daily Ambertose serving. It's not enough Ambertose to replace your daily Ambertose serving, but you do have that benefit. And in addition, part of the thickening of this, because you have to use something to thicken the powder so that you've actually got a nice thick shake, right? And so we've used gum acacia and uh, guar gum, and of course, arabinogalactan and gum tragacanth. They all uh, add to the thickness of it. Flaxseed powder also adds to the thickness of it, as well as provides you with some essential fatty acids, some uh, omega-3. 
And of course, in the uh, chocolate, we've used cocoa powder. In the vanilla, we've used vanilla. So that should make sense. Now, this is also a really good supply besides the glyconutrients now. It's also a really good supply of vitamins and minerals. So you'll see there's magnesium and iron and zinc and potassium and manganese, which is not magnesium. It's different from magnesium. Manganese. Manganese is very important for bone health. And almost no one knows that, but it's, it's extremely important. You've got some copper and chromium, very important for your blood sugar. Um, you have selenium, uh, which is important for a number of electrical and immune functions and also important, by the way, for uh, prostate health. We don't make those claims. I'm just explaining to you. And understand, folks, as, a, as an associate representing products from Manatech, you must only use the approved claims that you see on your literature. Okay, I'm giving you some educational background here, all right? Now, there's also lots of vitamins in this. And we have a, a special vitamin complex made from yeast. Yeast is a plant, okay? So that makes this plant source. So you've got niacin and panathenic acid and pyridoxine, which is, oh, here, I should say the, the numbers for you. So you've got uh, B3 and B5 and B6 and B2 and B1 and folic acid and biotin and B12, and you've got all those in that plant vitamin complex, and that's huge. And then, of course, in addition, there's also chia seed in here, which adds to the thickening, and it does also provide some uh, omega-3 from the chia seed. So you've got those health benefits, benefits as well. And, of course, uh, there's uh, beta-carotene, which is a pro-vitamin source, or I should say a pro-vitamin A. But we try not to use vitamin A although in some markets we have to list it as vitamin A, even though it isn't, beta carotene is a provitamin. Your body uses it to make vitamin A. So your body decides if it needs X amount of vitamin A, it takes that conversion from the beta carotene. What it doesn't use is just excrete it. Okay? So if you use vitamin A and you use more than you need, it would be stored in your fat. It's a different thing entirely. Okay? And again, you'll see the... Uh, on your label, it should say something to the effect of, because I don't have your label in front of me right at this second, uh, but something to the effect of fruit powder blend, strawberry, blueberry, raspberry, tart cherry, elderberry, cranberry. This is the berry blend and from which we derive fructose as well as the benefits of those berries. You're looking at a really healthy meal here, folks, a super healthy meal. Now, in all of the countries in the world, there are different rules, once again, and we are a global company. Some of you are only going to be representing to people in your own countries, and some of you will be representing to people in different countries. So understand that you need to know the rules and make sure you do not misrepresent under the rules of that country if they're different from yours. For instance, in the U.S., we recommend two shakes a day. But in Australia, New Zealand, and Singapore, we're recommending one shake a day. This is a regulatory thing in your countries. So don't break any rules. Follow the rules of your countries, okay? Now, I'm saying this because lots of people from around the world go to the U.S. website. They take that information. And if it's not the same as your country, then you can be in trouble. So use what's provided by the Australasian office as your guidance always. Okay, so you got all those benefits from that stuff. I mean, this is a great shake. Now, it tastes great. It is sweet. Obviously, it's it has natural sweeteners added to it. Under, under understand the way I'm saying this, okay? And it is low glycemic. Well, how can it be sweet? How can it have the word sugar on the label? This is an FAQ I get almost every day. You know, my, my uh, potential client who has blood sugar abnormalities, they say they can't use this product because they saw the word sugar on the label. Okay, it is low glycemic. Well, what does that mean? It means it's been made in such a way that it doesn't spike your insulin, doesn't cause your blood sugar to rise. Yes, it contains natural fruit sugar in it. It does. 
But if you balance that against fiber, remember what I told you about sweet potatoes versus white potatoes. If you balance this against fiber and protein, both fiber and protein reduce the index. The more fiber and protein you add to a meal, the lower your total glycemic load is. This is why it's important to eat tons of vegetables with your meals because vegetables are high in fiber and they're very low in calories, obviously, and they lower your total index. They make it hard for you to digest your food. That means your food digests more slowly. That means you're going to have a lower index or in a very low load on your food. That's part of how you succeed. So that's important to do that. And again, in Australasia, it's one meal uh, or, or one shake. And by the way, in some countries, we, they're saying meal replacement. In some countries, you can't. So be aware of which countries. Take a look at the rules of that country before you begin to market materials in that country. It's unfortunate, but just it's the way it is. We just have to follow these rules. Okay. So let's go to True Shape. True Shape was designed, as the name implies, to help you achieve that healthy body composition, that new shape, as quickly as possible. Now, it contains clinically tested ingredients which have been shown to be effective in human beings for the purpose of fat loss. Now, remember, we've got two things going on. You have to lose fat, build muscle mass. Now, part of how you're building muscle mass is adding additional protein. Now, and I should also, because there's an FAQ that comes up all the time when people say, how much protein do I need? There's no way for me to tell every human being how much they need under every given circumstance. So I'll give you a basic guideline. The average individual, the average female, is going to need 46 grams of protein daily to maintain her muscle mass. Maintain, not build, maintain, not increase. Okay. The average male will need 56 grams to maintain. Again, not to build, but just to maintain. Or let's say to keep from losing. How's that? So 20 grams in each of the shakes is great. It's super. But you're going to have to have solid meals to add more protein. Every day, by the way, every morning that I am home in Texas, which that's not a lot of mornings, but every morning that I am, I start every morning with two hard-boiled eggs. Oh, my God, eggs are bad for you. No, they're not. I wouldn't be eating them. You know, common sense, get a grip here. Eggs are the most perfect protein in the human diet, a perfect protein. And they contain all of the protein amino acids. But they contain cholesterol. Yeah, of course they do. But they also contain things in the egg which breaks it down. Okay? I, and when I'm on the road, I try and have a couple of eggs at breakfast every morning when I'm on the road. I can't do that everywhere I go all the time, believe it or not. But you need that extra protein or the muscle mass is going to want to break down. Okay, back to True Shape. So what True Shape is about is to help accelerate your metabolism, help, to help accelerate the rate at which you are converting stored body fat into energy. Now, you'll see the first thing on the list, will uh, listed in the Latin as Camellia sinensis. And what that really means is green tea, okay? So green tea extract. So we've taken out the clinically te tested functional component from green tea. There will be a tiny amount of caffeine because it's sort of clinging on to the molecular structure of, of the functional component that we need but it's a tiny amount. And <clears throat> so many, hundreds of millions, maybe billions of people drink green tea. Okay. Now, it's been scientifically tested, this particular ingredient. If you go, it's called EGCG. If you go up to a certain level, it's safe and effective in helping you to convert stored body fat into energy. Above a certain level, it's actually potentially dangerous to your body. What a lot of companies do, they're, they don't do a science. They're not aware. They, they don't know what they're doing. They think, well, if one is good, two is better. In nutrition, it doesn't always work like that. 
So there are some products out there that contain green tea extract, which are not safe, okay? Now there are also going to be some groups, and generally this is isolated to genetics, who will say that they have uh, upset stomach or uh, st even stomach pain when they use that particular extract. And if you do experience that, you haven't been harmed, it hasn't damaged you, but just don't use the product again, okay? So it's not the capsicum, so that's, the, that's our pepper complex in there. What the pepper is doing, pepper is, the, the capsicum in this is, and this is taken from different peppers, and it's concentrated, this extract, so that it heats up your system faster. And the faster you heat up that metabolism, the faster you convert stored body fat into energy. That's its primary function. But capsicum does other good things for your body as well, but that's the primary. So then, that's the purpose of this product. And if you are one of those individuals who cannot use the Camellia sinensis extract, and there will be some, then that's okay. It doesn't mean you have to quit the whole true health system because remember how I started this. True Plenish is the most important product. That product alone, along with you changing your dietary habits to low glycemic, you will succeed. Maybe not as quickly as your neighbor who's using the true shape, but you will still succeed. Okay? So don't lose heart on that. You're also going to see that all of the components that supply us with the glyconutrients for Ambertose are also in this product, although this is not an Ambertose replacement, okay, so you understand that. And of course, this product also contains no MSG, no artificial flavors, colors, or sweeteners, that's very cool, and there's no dairy or dairy-derived ingredients, okay, and of course, no gluten. Suitable for vegetarians? And so everybody should be happy on that front. And again, this is a uh, biotechnology that has been clinically tested and shown effective to help human beings convert stored body fat into energy. This is an assist. It's an aid. In fact, in your claims, in your benefits claims, which are authorized for your market, it, the words are actually aids in boosting metabolism. Okay? That's very cool. That's a very cool thing. And of course, some of you will experience a, a mild increase in energy and so on, okay? Now, the last product, True Pure. True Pure, once we started selling products, uh, the True uh, Health System products individually as opposed to a bundle, what we found was that the number one selling product to the surprise of almost everyone, not to me, by the way, but to almost everyone was True Pure. Because even people who don't, for whatever reason, want to start a, uh, a new program to improve their body composition, and there are some, uh, even these folks, they say, well, you know what? My body has to detoxify. I live on planet Earth in the 21st century. That means I am breathing toxic air. I'm drinking toxic water. I'm eating toxic food. I'm exposed to toxins everywhere. So then, we know that we're exposed to toxins all over the planet. And these toxins cause oxidative stress, and that is related to 68 different health concerns. That is enormous. So you should be using a true pure Slim Stick, which by the way is absolutely delicious. Boy, did we do a slam dunk on that formulation using citrus for our flavoring, of course. And that is tremendous for helping you to cleanse or to detoxify your body. And what's really cool about this product, it's that it is designed to be a true cellular cleanse. You look at other products out there and there's, you've got a liver cleanse product or a colon cleanse product. This is a body cleanse product. This is designed to cleanse your body at the cellular level. That's what those ingredients are about. Because all of the cells of your body are becoming toxic. Not just one or two, but all of them. So we want you to have a truly cellular cleanse. It's natural. It's safe. It's effective. We're talking about liver, 
and kidney, and especially Asians need kidney. And that's a different genetic conversation. But we're talking about so many parts of the body that benefit from this cleanse, that this is a product that everybody, I don't care what other products you're taking, I don't care if you've never tried the True Health System, you should be using a True Pure Slim Stick every day, just one, every day. And everybody can do it every day. You'll have instructions, of course, that come with the product to tell you how to do it for a, quote, deep cleanse versus a standard cleanse. And follow those instructions carefully. Uh, and use it with the water as it instructs you to, okay? And don't overdo it. I know these are delicious. They're so delicious. I've seen people who are doing way too many of these per day. And, of course, they're rushing to the bathroom a lot. And that's not the purpose here, okay? So one a day for the rest of your life is a great idea for the health of your liver, your kidneys, all of your organs and systems. So combine these three products make a unique and effective, a healthy, a special way for Manatech associates to help people all over planet Earth. Start right there in your home base, but take it all over the planet. And remember, it's low glycemic eating that's what you want to do, and our goal is not weight loss. It is fat loss, yes, but it is ultimately body composition improvement.